Hi guys, Tech James here. So the Daedalus Nintendo 64 emulator for PSP or PS Vita actually got another update. Now this is update version 1.1.6. This update apparently improves some really good sound and um, performance issues and it's also got a load of other fixes on there. So you can do this on your PSP or PS Vita. Whatever you choose, make sure adrenaline is open if you're doing this on your PS Vita. Just go up and press X on USB connection and then it would be exactly the same on your PSP, just go ahead and launch USB connection. I will be using my PS Vita for this video, so I'm going to go and connect this to my PC and I will show you guys what's soon next. Right guys, so here we are on my computer and look at this, um, Daedalus X64 1.1.6 released four days ago. So it says, this build brings many improvements and fixes from our hardworking team. So this is actually really good news. So what we've got here is updated our tool chain. It's um, made some changes to the job manager. Um, but this is the most important. It's improved audio performance. So as you guys know, audio before on this was really laggy. It was really glitchy. Um, at certain parts in the game, it would just sound really bad. And um, it's also got enabled more fast memory copying. So I guess that is another good thing. Now, um, I will be testing this, of course, on my PS Vita but you can test this on your PSP or PSP Go as well. So what you guys want to do is scroll down, just click on the zip file right here and that will begin downloading. So I'm not 100% sure if the audio has actually been fixed completely. So we will be finding that out in this video. The last version I got was 1.15 and that was back in January. So hopefully it's had a few improvements by then. As I said, this is only four days old. So um, not many people have maybe tested this. So let's just go to our downloads folder and find a zip file in here. Also find our Nintendo 64 ROM of choice. I've got Super Mario 64. I know where the audio lags in this before, so I will be able to tell um, if it's been updated or if it's still the same. So let's get the zip file, right click, select extract here. Now just select our ROM and drag and drop it into the folder. It's entirely up to you where you decide to get your ROMs from, but let's just select it and then put it into the ROMs folder. So now we're going to go back to our downloads, right click, copy this entire folder, go onto our PS Vita or PSP. If you're on your PSP, you can go to the PSP game folder, paste it in there. If you're on your PS Vita, go up to view, hidden files, um, PSP MU, which is this one, which is the adrenaline emulator. And then here you go, it looks just like your PSP. So you'd go PSP, game, and just paste it in here. So that is literally it for our computer. Let's wait for this to copy across. And then I will go back onto the adrenaline emulator and let's test out the gameplay. Alright guys, so back over on your device, let's go ahead and launch up the emulator. So it will be on our memory stick, and here it is, Daedalus. I don't even know how you pronounce this thing, the name of it. Um, I've always hated the name of it, it's really bad. But we're just going to go and press X to launch it up. Okay, so it's actually already looking slightly different. We do not have a preview on the game anymore, but what we can do is just press X to go ahead and launch it, and we can just press X on Start Emulation. Okay, so once it loads up, I will load into the game and then I will put some sound settings on. So let's just press on start and let's just go and open up a new game right now. Now, if we press the home button, we can actually go into the settings. So let's go into, I believe it's edit preferences. So let's press X and here it is audio. Make sure you change it to asynchronous or synchronous. It's up to you. Let's put it on synchronous, save and return and then resume emulation. And let's see if it's improved a bit. So I will be turning the volume up here. Obviously, I have to turn it down at some points because obviously Nintendo copyright all their music. So I don't want to risk getting any kind of copyright strike. But let's just let the game play out and I will be testing the sound in a minute. Okay, so so far does not seem to be any sound glitching, which is a really good thing. We will be testing it out with the jumps right now, see if we can get any glitching. Now, it might be worse for other games. I know this is probably one of the easiest games to run um, actually on this emulator, but I know where the sound was glitching previously, so I will be able to compare it. So, so far, it's actually sounding really good. They did say there was actually some pretty good sound improvements, so that is a really good thing. Now, as soon as we walk in the door here, there is actually a sound glitch, or there is normally a sound glitch, um, Bowser's laugh is normally very glitchy, so let's go and see what happens when we like activate this scene. Okay, so it did glitch kind of a bit at the start. Um, wasn't as bad as last time though, which is a good thing. And the music also seems to be playing pretty good, so let's just collect some coins and see how that sounds. 
Okay, yeah, so the sound has definitely been improved. I've actually noticed this a bit. Um, it was a lot worse last time. When I was collecting the coins last time, it was kind of like, you know, lagging each coin, like, um, collection sound. So I'm just going to turn the volume down now. As I said, this is Nintendo music, so I do not want any kind of copyright issues with this. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Pretty impressed. I will keep you guys up to date if there are any more good updates. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.